I never thought it was possible, but it looks like we might finally be here. The end of the era of live action adaptations. Goodbye, Full Metal Alchemist. Cowboy Bebop, I'd say it was fun knowing you, but I ain't a liar. Oh, and you. You. Thanks for standing against everything I believe in. I'll see you again in hell if the devil don't kick you out. The long-awaited, highly anticipated Netflix One Piece finally hits the small screen in a few hours, if I get this up on time, and with that, the era of the live action anime adaptations crushing the hearts of fans around the globe ends forever. The only question left to answer is, how does it end? It's no secret that Netflix One Piece has one of the highest budgets of any live action ever, the passion of the team working on it is unreal, and Goda-sama himself has been fully dedicated to ensuring his work is untarnished. That's it, the golden formula. Passion, money, and the original creator. Everything we as fans of anime have clamored for over all these years, and honestly, that's why this live action looks more promising than anything I've ever seen before. But that's the problem. What if the CGI is just unwatchable? What if the story and world building don't feel as rich because 100 chapters were condensed into 8 episodes? What if Usopp's too good looking to feel cowardly? What if Luffy's character is diluted for PR reasons? Th there are a million what ifs, and while you might think some of them are completely reasonable or downright stupid, every single one of them compounds to produce something just different from the original that fans have come to love over the last quarter century, and again I say to you, that's it. The formula has been followed to make the first good live action, but people might still just not like it and it wouldn't even be their fault. We're the anime community for a reason. We fell in love with the freedom of expression and escapist fantasy of 2D and Japanese storytelling to begin with and that's just not what live actions are, so say this is poorly received after all the work and money that has gone into it. There isn't a bigger manga than One Piece to get the size of audience from again, and companies will honestly realize and accept that no one likes these and that it's a waste of time and money to keep trying to force what isn't working. It might finally be the straw that breaks the camel's back, and while my celebrations to start the video should tell you how I feel about all the lackluster products we've gotten so far, it doesn't mean I think honest efforts like Netflix One Piece should stop. If you're truly a fan of a story, you should want it to reach as wide an audience as possible, and live action is one of the avenues to do that. No matter how mainstream anime gets, there are tons of people out there, tons of people you know, who just can't form that connection with animation as a medium due to whatever they've experienced in their lives. Maybe your dad would love Made in Abyss or The Promised Neverland if they didn't remind him of Mickey Mouse. Maybe Kaiji would be your aunt's favorite drama if the characters didn't look like the cast of Spongebob in human form, and maybe Berserk… Okay, the logic doesn't apply to everything, but you get the idea. So many great stories are being held back by their medium, and as fans, we should want to see them all succeed on the biggest stages. So that brings me to the first thing I want to ask of you today. When you watch the Netflix One Piece live action, think about all it could mean for anime as a whole going forward. And give it a fair chance. You don't have to love it, you don't even have to like it. Just give it a fair shake and don't hate on it unless it genuinely deserves it. 
Now, I'm super busy and don't actually have the time to be making this video right now, so we're speeding ahead before this becomes so long that I can't edit it in a night. If you're new here, to go with the best anime live action ever, I'm making the best One Piece video game of all time. If we get to 7,000 subscribers, I cannot speak today. 7,000 subscribers by the start of October, I'm not even cutting that out. So we're running out of time and making very little progress. For everyone who doubted me, I learned to code and made a video showing you a few clips of the early gameplay you can check out in the cards and if that isn't enough, then unless Briggs is busy again, we're streaming over on his Twitch sometime Friday where you'll finally get to see the game really in action. Look forward to it. I have literally poured my life, soul and health into this. Don't let me down. Thanks to patrons Bolivar Sanchez, Lucas HF, and Grog, I'm definitely saying that wrong, for helping make this video and my entire mission possible. Until next time, this has been Kenchan spewing my incoherent ramblings.